Mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat, mga kaola. Saan mang kayo panig ng daigdig na naabot ng aking YouTube channel, ang OG Gabales, The Pride of Bicol. Ngayong umaga po ay aking bibigyan pansin o ibabahagi ko po sa inyo ang tungkol sa pan napapanahong isyo ang pandemic virus, ang Nobel Coronavirus 2019. Good morning, friends, loved ones, colleagues, and sa mga kapwa ko OFW dito sa Espanya at sa lahat mang panig o sa mga kayo dako ng daigdig na naabot ng aking channel, kayo ay aking binabati ng maligayang araw sa inyong lahat. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, loved ones, and families, colleagues, I would like to share with you about this novel, Coronavirus 2019, which includes viruses such as MERS, SARS, as well as the milder variants causing common cold. The medical consensus at this moment is that the novel coronavirus is more transmissible but appear less deadly than SARS. Evidence also shows or suggests that the rate of the human-to-human -human transmission of this virus appears to be the higher than of SARS. For now, the evidence also suggests the transmission is mostly via droplets. What this means is that, that the virus is carried within droplets emitted, emitted from an infected person over a short distance, such as when a person coughs or sneezes, if these droplets come into a contact within the eyes, nose, or mouth of an individual directly or indirectly through hands that have come into contact with these droplets, the individual may become with these droplets affected to clarify that there is no evidence currently suggests that the virus is airborne. There are other viruses such as chicken pox, which can easily be transported by air, by air currents, and so not require droplets to contact the eyes or nose. The novel coronavirus is not this category of viruses. The coronavirus could also transmit through surface contact. Let me explain. When a person is nesses or cough, the coughing, the droplets fall onto the surface of tables and chairs, and the viruses may remain alive for up to few hours or days. When someone else touches the surfaces of this table, chairs, the virus can be transferred through hands, and if then rubs his eyes, nose, or mouth, Without washing his hands, he may become affected. So we should wash our hands. This also we only quarantine the close contacts of confirmed cases for more transient contacts such as individuals that the confirmed cases may have walked fast in malls, hotels, parks. The rest of transmission is law. For a coronavirus, Generally, the person is more infectious when he is displaying symptoms or what you call symptomatic. And this is likely to be the case for the novel coronavirus as well. There is evidence of unlimited spread from a person without symptoms during the incubation period. However, this form of transmission may be uncommon and have so far involved isolated cases only at this point the evidence still points towards hazard transmiss transmissibility when the person is displaying symptoms as such medical professional both overseas and here in spain have advised that the most effective way that we can protect ourselves is to practice good hygiene we should regularly wash our hands with soap and water and avoid touching our face with our hands. This may sound simple, but actually they are very difficult to do 
because all of us touch our faces all the time. Even this juncture, when I am talking in front of you, I was touching my face. So it is simple, but extremely difficult, but it is of infection. It is actually very effective in preventing all kinds of infection, rather. Potential infection from all asymptomatic person, in fact, is less likely to be from coughing or sneezing directly because they don't have symptoms. They are not sneezing or coughing, but more likely by touching contaminated surfaces for which mask, mask is not offers no protection. Wearing a mask when we are well often gives us a false sense of security instead, and we are more likely to touch our faces when we constantly adjust our mask, which is one way to disease the disease spreads. At the same time, we need to protect others, our loved ones, friends, colleagues, and fellow human beings that we come into contact with. If we are sick, we should rest and recover at home as far as possible. If we do need to go out to see a doctor, for example, we should wear a surgical mask to protect others. So this is when masks are needed when we unwell and we have to go out. So we tackle about masks. If you go to the pharmacies and other store nationwide, especially here in Madrid, there's no sufficient supply of masks, even the sanitizer. They are doing the panic buying, even the groceries. They're the, the basic needs. But please be considerate to others. We are all human beings and we are looking for a long life. Have a blessed morning to all of you. To God be the glory.